We have a preview kit today. This is Mobius Models USS Franklin uh, from the Star Trek Beyond film, the third and final one. And uh, what makes this unique, uh, this is a pre-production model. This model's not yet available for retail sales. I managed to get my little hands on one. <laughs> so uh, that's the reason why you just see a big bunch of sprues here and no box, because this is all I currently have is uh, the kit itself. Now, before we take a look at this, I do have to preference this with saying this is a test shot. Um, this is, you know, when they put the plastic into the mold and they test to see if everything's right and they make adjustments as things go along. So this is not a final retail version of the kit. So there might be changes between this kit and what you can purchase in the store. Um, also, I have no box. Uh, I have no decals yet. Those are coming soon, hopefully. And I do have the instructions, but I'm not allowed to show them to you. So this is all I have to show you at the moment. When they do a uh, test shot, they also just kind of grab whatever color or plastic they have around to put it through, since it's not meant to go into production. Uh, so this has a slight pink tinge to it, if that's coming through on camera. And uh, the, the main kit may not be white either. So just in case you're wondering why things look slightly pink. So the USS Franklin right there, uh, it's a small kit considering it's a 1350 scale. 1350 scale is the same scale as the Big E, the Big Enterprise, which is like three feet long. Uh, this is a different style of ship, so it's not the Constitution class, I think it is. I'm not that nerdy, I don't know. I just dumped all the screws out so everything's a bit of a mess. Oy. That's the back, or the bottom, there. Fair uh, large part counts here. You have windows, you have clear uh, nacelles for the bussard collectors, I believe. Uh, that, or the bottom there, this is the stand. That's the stand as well. Um, oh, there's the, uh, again, bussard collectors, if I'm saying that correctly. That's actually three pieces. And so it almost looks like if you want, you can make it spin if you put motors into it to get the light effect. Eh, maybe not, but it's kind of interesting. There's the Franklin base right there. And you got your engine nacelles. That's what the nacelles are right here. So fair number of parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, well, build this. And we'll go from there. Unfortunately, I can't show you. I have nothing else to show you. Um, the instructions I've read through, uh, they're in full color, which is very nice. Uh, and they do give painting instructions. Uh, the trick, or the, I don't know what you call it, trick or benefit for this project is, this is like the first time we can legitimately do a heavily weathered Star Trek spaceship because this thing was sitting on the planet for umpteen years. And uh, even in the painting instructions, they give you uh, examples of a clean version or the dirty version. So we are definitely going dirty with this. Right, I'm gonna put this together and hopefully uh, we don't have any issues on that front. I don't know if I should be commenting on fit issues because this is a test shot. This is not the final production. So there could be changes made to the mold before you actually get your hands on this kit. Uh, but in case there's not, I will point out uh, this area here around the saucer with the windows was a bit of a pain and didn't fit that well. Um, you have to take the front piece, the solid plastic and the clear windows put that together before putting it into here and then there's a little channel that you fit everything in and trying to line all the pieces up didn't work out too well so i had to trim down the uh, clear parts uh, the edges basically i just clipped off the edges so it was easier to fit things together um, and still not quite a good fit i got some areas here where i got a gap and i couldn't really find out a way to fix that because this is such a thick piece, it's not like I could simply just you know, bend it slightly uh, because then it would have been you know, defective on this side. So uh, that's something you wanna watch out for. I don't have a fix, unfortunately, and you can't really fill that because then you're gonna have a little, a little bump. So 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do about those areas. There's about two that are an issue uh, somewhere around here. I've kind of lost them already. Uh, but yeah, that's the most difficult thing so far. And there has been uh, a little bit of flash here and there. Uh, again, test shot. So don't know if you'll have that same problem. So I've built as much as I possibly can before I need to start painting pieces before attaching them. Uh, mainly the nacelles, they have a clear part and then these couple of these uh, little square bits, little fan bits that go on and then they have a clear cap on them. So all that has to be painted before I cap that off. Um, the build itself, uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of gaps. Uh, and again, this is a test shot, so that may not reflect uh, how the finished model is going to look, but uh, giving you an idea there how it all goes together. Uh, shockingly large, that wasn't glued on, don't worry. Shockingly large number of parts. Um, and kind of odd, a couple things I'll point out. The bottom of the saucer is not that well detailed. Uh, I'm wondering, maybe even the CGI artist didn't bother, you know, taking care of the bottom of the ship because it was parked on a mountain the entire time. But you can see like here, we have a nice Aztec-ish pattern and here it's just big plates. And also you have these aerodynamic lines going across it on the bottom. Uh, so yeah, the windows, whole, whole bunch of windows, and some microscopically small windows. There, there, there's a, I don't know, you can even see that. That's very tiny little light clear part there that I actually, I dropped and I managed to find again. Uh, I had to use a, a lint roller to find it on my rug. Uh, the only other problems are, well, first of all, let's point out this monstrosity. This is the stand. And this thing sits in the stand like that. I don't know why. It seems that they made it so you can take it off. And I don't know why you would take it off a stand unless you want to play with it in the bathtub or something like that. And this stand here is huge. Look at this thing. Look how much of the ship it covers up. And even the stand, there's a big gap here on the side. So. I don't understand the stand here. The only thing I could think of why they built a stand is because of the lines here. There was no place to put uh, a hole for a center rod without disturbing this pattern here. Uh, I'm going to build my own stand and actually I'm going to drill it from the back because this is the only uh, bare spot here. So we'll have it coming out and maybe angled down a little bit. And finally, the big thing, I screwed up. Um, I forgot to put the damn window in place right here, the main window, before gluing the saucer together. So I have a big hole in my ship. Totally my fault. I built this over a couple days and I forgot to put the window in before moving to the next step. So I have to figure out a way to fix this. And I got a couple ideas and hopefully I won't destroy this thing while I'm testing out my ideas. But uh, yeah, that's the next step is that and then we're gonna start on the painting. And there we are, our Franklin is fully built and uh, I really shouldn't say it, but it was a huge pain in the ass. Uh, I'll say again, and I said it repeatedly, uh, this is a test shot, so you know this necessarily won't be how the finished model goes together, but uh, the fact that I had issues with the instructions, it's a test shot and I don't, I didn't bother looking, but I'm pretty sure no one else is building this on YouTube, so I don't have anybody else to follow on uh, tips on how to build this. So I had a lot of problems. Um, I did manage to fix the window, by the way. So that's fixed. Uh, cut a little hole in here. This piece goes on top. So uh, I'm leaving that off right now because I still need to put the rod, because I'm making a new base for it rod is gonna go through that little hole right there, so make it easier to glue it in place. Um, I was also missing some parts uh, because it didn't come in the actual box. So I did uh, lose those little bits. I managed to recreate them roughly just using some uh, plain styrene. Uh, also lost one of these sensors here, and rather than trying to recreate that because it was a little, it wasn't just a clear dome, it had some sides to it, I said screw it. I just filled it in. So 
that's lacking there. Um, the main thing that I had an issue with, two of them, were if you see these parts back here and back here, I couldn't find the fit of them. Uh, I kind of confused this area with this area here. Now, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, because this is how the instructions show you how to put it together. Again, I can't show you the instructions, but when you're building the rear of the ship, they have an illustration of the front of the ship, and it literally says, put these this piece back here, this piece back here, this piece back here. You can't tell where to put them. So if this helps, because I had to struggle with it a little bit, uh, you have these little sort of triangle trapezoid things that go there. Um, part I had the hardest time figuring out where it goes were these little tiny clear pieces. They look like little J shapes. They go there and one goes on the opposite side of there. And um, I forget what else. I think these here also you can't really tell. I had to struggle to figure out how to put them in eventually. Um, so there's that. The other issue is the windows all along here. Uh, I was planning to put on all together and then masking out the windows like you would normally do uh, for painting. Problem is, the windows are recessed. That makes masking them off a lot more difficult. And even the kit, at the end of the instructions of course, recommends you leaving the windows out, painting everything, and then putting it together. The problem is, uh, you this piece here, these are all pieces about inch and a half wide. There's like a dozen of them or so that go around here. Uh, you can't place those in place until you insert the windows into them and then it goes into a channel between these two. So uh, you have to leave everything apart virtually uh, if you want to paint everything separately without the windows being in place uh, and that being an issue. So you have, you have the top, the bottom, and a dozen extra pieces and then gluing all that together considering these didn't fit in that well uh, might be a little bit too difficult so that one's up to you uh, and also if you're someone who likes to make their own windows out of uh, like the window making material the micromark uses or white glue uh, you're gonna have to do that from the back side as well so uh, you can't fill them in after the fact so keep that in mind and the other thing is, the whole nacelle thing here, have to assemble that, did some painting before uh, I could seal everything up. Uh, use Tamiya Yellow. Uh, if you're going to do the ground version, there's no color at all. If you're going to use the flying version, uh, it was a really, almost not even yellow. It looked more like a, a very warm incandescent light to it from the movie that I saw. Uh, I went with Tamiya Clear Yellow because I wanted a little bit more color there. A little bit of cotton in there, just to give it a little effect inside. Uh, this part here, there's a clear piece back here, and then there's this little fan thing. There's three pieces to that, and there's the front clear piece here where you have to paint uh, the bands on top of that as well. That was fun to mask off an inside of a ball. Uh, so. If you're gonna, if you're someone who's gonna light it, you're not gonna get a whole bunch of light coming through there because of all these little fan blades. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I put a just a light coat of the yellow onto it because I wanted a little bit of color, not too much. So there is that. We're gonna leave these off for painting because they're just gonna get in the way and they slide easily into place. So that's about it for the build. I'm gonna put this all up in part one. Um, so if you eventually when this comes out and you're building it you'll know a few things to keep in mind uh, you know you'll have to decide if you want to do all these pieces individually and then put in the windows later or come up with some other way to do it this is virtually ready for painting right now uh, I'm still filling in some gaps there that i just saw and um, i keep finding ones here and there uh just want to get to the paint stage at this point uh, i had too many issues with building this thing, we're just going to go onto the paint, do this a, as a fairly quick build. It's already not a fairly quick build because I spent too much time on it. But uh, yeah, part two, we'll get started with the painting. Watch out for snakes! 